Hey guys, it's Kaylin. Today I'm back with another sticker shop slash Etsy video. I'm gonna take you through everything I bought to start my sticker shop. You guys always ask what supplies I use, so I thought I would go through them all today and I will make sure to leave everything linked down below as well. Just wanted to mention that my shop is finally reopened for 2021. I took some time off at the start of the year, but we are back and better than ever, so I will make sure to leave my shop down below as well so you can go check it out. I don't wanna drag this intro on for forever, so let's jump right into it. The first category of supplies is design supplies. You obviously need something to design your stickers with. I think the most popular way to do it is with an iPad and Procreate. That's what I use. I have an iPad Air 3. You can check out my unboxing of it, but I absolutely love my iPad Air 3 and I'm so glad I upgraded to it. And then to go with my iPad, I have the Apple Pencil that is compatible with it. I definitely think that is worth investing in. I do have a really great dupe that I love to have as a backup if my pencil dies, but the Apple one is just so much better because it is made to go with the iPad. And then the program I use is Procreate. I feel like everyone knows about Procreate now, but it is a 10 out of 10 super user friendly and you can do so much with it if you didn't know i print and cut all my stickers myself it definitely takes a little bit of trial and error to get the hang of it but with the right supplies you can print and cut amazing stickers at home going through my printing supplies first is my printer i use the hp nv6055 and this is hands down the best affordable printer i know there's better ones out there but for how cheap this one is it's only 130 dollars it is absolutely amazing if you print on the best quality possible and on the right sticker paper you could never tell that it was only 130 dollars because it is amazing. And then obviously you need the ink that is compatible with your printer. I use the HP 67 ink. I try and get the extra large size because you kind of get more bang for your buck that way. There's also the HP ink program. I haven't signed up for this yet, but they just send you new ink whenever you need it based off your printer use. So it's definitely a good way to save money with the ink if you kind of sign up for it right. I've heard really great things about it. So definitely something I've been looking into. And the last printing supply you need is sticker paper. I use the online labels weatherproof matte sticker paper. That's a mouthful. I'd heard such great things about the sticker paper on TikTok, so I kind of just invested in this right off the bat, and I have no complaints. I absolutely love it. I feel like any issues I have are user error, not the paper itself, so would definitely recommend. The next category of supplies is laminating supplies. This is not a 100% necessary step, but I would highly recommend it. It definitely ups the quality of your stickers and it makes them a lot more waterproof. The main thing you need is the laminating sheets themselves. I use the Avery self laminating sheets. These are the best ones out there by far. I used to use contact paper and definitely not it. Go with the Avery self laminating sheets. They're super easy to apply to your sticker paper and they just make the quality of your stickers amazing. You can use the laminating sheets just on their own and just smooth out all the bubbles by hand, but I invested in a laminator. It was only like $20 on Amazon, so definitely worth the price. I apply the laminating sheets and then run it through the laminator once or twice to get out all the air bubbles. It definitely just saves me time and hassle from hand doing it myself. And like I said, only $20, so worth it for me. Didn't really know what category to put this under, but I also use a paper cutter. I mainly use this to cut down the laminating sheets so it fits within the black box on your sticker paper so that the Cricut can read it better and you don't have any issues with the cut lines. Another supply that's not 100% necessary, but definitely saves just a lot of time and hassle, so worth it for me. Now onto cutting supplies. After you print your stickers out, you need to cut them on a cutting machine unless you wanna do it by hand, which sounds absolutely terrible. So a cutting machine is definitely worth the investment. The two main cutting machines out there are a Cricut and Silhouette, and honestly, neither are perfect options. I always hear people having issues with both, so you really just need to weigh the pros and cons of both machines, pick one, learn how to use it, and stick with it. The cutting machine I have is the Cricut Explore Air 2. I definitely had a lot of issues with it in the beginning, trying to get it calibrated and such. Since then I've really had no major problems or issues with it. Anything that comes up, it's normally user error and not machine error. The machine works pretty well for me. Look at both of them and what they offer and see what's going to work best for you. To go with your cutting machine, you need cutting mats. I definitely recommend going on Amazon and getting a dupe. You do not need the actual Cricut brand mats. I will leave the ones I use linked down below, but I use a light grip one and got it off of Amazon and they work great. The next thing I have is a set of Cricut tools. This is definitely not a necessary thing, but I like having them on hand just in case. Another supply that I I wasn't really sure what category to put it in is my slice blade. The slice blade is a little cutting tool and I use it to score the back of my stickers. This makes it really easy to peel off the backing instead of trying to like get it at the edge. It just makes it really easy to peel from the center. After you print and cut your stickers, it is time to package them. The first packaging supply I use is envelopes. I use these four by six craft envelopes from Amazon and I really like these ones because they have a pull tab to seal your envelopes with. I really hate licking envelopes. That's just a me thing. So these make it really convenient. Next we have thank you cards. I decided to design mine in Procreate and get them printed through Vistaprint. I didn't want to have to deal with printing them myself or anything, so I just got them ordered in bulk from Vistaprint. I highly recommend getting something to store your stickers in in the packaging so they don't just kind of float around in your envelope. You can get cellophane bags, but I use these holographic bags from Amazon. 
I forget what small business I ordered from that used these, but I absolutely love them. So I decided to use it in my own shop. It's super easy to open the bag, stuff your stickers in and then seal it. And then your stickers are nice and protected in your envelope. I also have a few different branded stickers to go with my packaging. The first being logo stickers. I decided to order mine from sticker print. Again, I didn't want to have to deal with printing and cutting all of them myself. So I just ordered these in bulk from sticker app. My happy mail stickers, I just print and cut myself right now. I'll probably order them from sticker app in the future. They're just another little touch to my packaging and I designed them to kind of fit with the branding of my logo so they match. And the last packaging supply I use is washi tape. I use this for two main reasons. One, to double seal my envelope so it's really nice and secure and nothing's gonna open. And two, it's just a fun touch to add to the outside of your envelopes. I like using washi tape so it's a nice little pop of sparkle when you're opening your envelope. The last category of supplies is shipping supplies. You can 100% send your stickers just as a regular letter with a stamp but I like using the Etsy shipping labels. First off, it just saves me a lot of time from having to handwrite all the addresses on my orders. I'm a busy gal, so we try and be as efficient as possible. And second of all, it just gives me a lot of peace of mind because the Etsy labels have tracking on them. I can see where an order is when it's been delivered and I just don't have to stress about any of that. To print my Etsy labels, I use the Rolo label printer. It is definitely an investment off the bat, but after that, it is very low cost. It prints with heat and not ink, so you don't have to continuously pay for new ink for the printer. You're just paying for the printer itself and the labels. I use the four by six Rolo labels with my printer. I just get the ones from Rolo itself because they're pretty much the same price on Amazon and I want to make sure they're the exact ones to go with my printer. And the last shipping supply is a scale. This is not a necessary supply, but again, I really like it because it gives me peace of mind. I got mine for fairly cheap off of Amazon and it lets me weigh my envelopes to make sure they are the correct weight to send as just a regular letter. The last supply I had that really didn't fit into any category is a set of organizing drawers. I got mine from Amazon and it just lets me store and organize all my stickers and it's really easy to slide them out and find them in the set of drawers. That is everything I bought to start my sticker shop, all of the supplies that I use. If you want to see more Etsy, sticker shop, small business videos, give this video a thumbs up and leave any comments down below letting me know what you want to see. And of course, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stick around for a post-grad life, work vlogs, and more. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next one.